So you're probably thinking to yourself, will a green screen production really help my film and can I afford it? Coming up next, some quick and helpful tips that's going to blow your mind. So when it comes to green screen, that will allow you to do special effects, matte and key out images, etc. It could really be a helpful tool. It could be a total disaster as well if you don't know what you're doing. But there are ways of really doing it inexpensively that can make special effects appear in your movie so great that will have people wondering just how much they actually spent in production. Now I use green screen for several different effects in my film. Uh, some quick and simple tips I can tell you is instead of investing in a massive green screen wall where you'll have to build a slope and paint it with the special uh, you know color paint and everything else there are different alternatives where you can use. You can go onto Amazon and type in green screen studios and they'll usually pop up but I'm not really a big fan of the ones that you sort of put together and hang like a clothesline hanger. Um, however, the retractable ones, which are behind me now, work just as good. The good thing about that is the quick setup and breakdown. So the retractable green screen banners are also sold on Amazon, and you just pull those babies up, you tie them up at the top, you adjust your lighting, you get that right, and then you bring it to a decent VFX artist to do all of your effects. There are also different light kits uh, that you can buy, however you're going to need at least four to five lights to properly light up a green screen, otherwise you'll get shadows and the effects will not come out well. Now I use green screen for a lot of my stuff, sometimes I use 40 foot green screens and some, sometimes I use a 6x8 like it's behind me. But you can do a lot with a green screen and scour the internet and find some talented young VFX artists. They'll help you, they'll, they'll put together VFX images and, and work and different special effects that'll fit your budget. So don't discount the green screen totally, but just remember that you want to A, do something that's inexpensive, two, that you can break down and put up again so you don't have to lose a certain portion of your house or your studio doing green screen work. The retractable banner may be the best bet for you. Take a look at some light kits. Uh, you want to get at least four or five uh, lights to properly light it up. And of course, you want to make sure your ISOs are down and your images are lit uh, nicely on set. So the green screen effects are really good when you're doing different kinds of uh, different work. Now there are body green screen uh, suits, whereas like if you wanted a, a book floating from one side of this green screen to the other, you would put the green screen suit on and you would have that individual hold the book and then go across. Basically what happens is anything in the editing room that is green is going to become invisible and you're able to overlay things on top of that. So I hope uh, this quick and helpful tip was uh, good for you, and if you liked it, please leave us a comment, like, and subscribe so we can help other filmmakers for absolutely free, no money. We're not trying to sell anybody anything here. And uh, feel free to also comment on the section and leave where you use your green screen and maybe give some helpful tips on some filmmakers that are watching this video as well, because together we're all trying to just get our movie made and out there. Thanks for watching. Joe Simonera on this episode of Joe Simonera Presents.